Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Marathon. Just adjust that there. Right. We're back on the alien ship. I uh, backtracked to that level and refilled myself a little bit. This looks like my friend Robert's PS2. He had one of those cool PS2s with like a skull on it. Um, I also cleared out a few of the enemies in the last level. Not that it really mattered since I was leaving. I hate these things. Like, normally flying enemies in, in shooters aren't terrible because, like, as opposed to, like, a game where melee is the only option. In a shooter, damn. In a shooter, you have guns with which to shoot. But these things are so small and annoying, and their projectiles are too fast for their own good. With something like Doom, you'd have a Kakko Demon. The Kakko Demons are cute little fellas. I like them, even though they're very dumb. And that's not even like a, a rarely shared opinion, like something that only I have. Like, people love the Kakko Demon. Oh, it's just a fucking invisible bug. Like, uh, I think even Corona has, like, a Kako Demon plushie. I don't feel like I've heard this song before. I feel like every single level has been an entirely new track. And that's pretty cool. Like, what what is this? Like, a 40-song uh, soundtrack? Ugh, the flicker of that I don't like. Unforgiven. Boo. Okay. And this puts me into this weird bone hallway. Almost all my purple health is gone. Man, those grenades are pretty great. Ugh. Now I'm not even having my yellow health. I'm having... Sorry, thought you were a suicide bomber. Whoa. Which is the same guy to the left. Pepsi? It's prudence. Ah! Let's give this thing out a... Let's give this thing a try, huh? I mean, flamethrowers in video games usually suck. They're okay on that, actually. I guess since they're so small and they have such little health. Uh. Ugh. Pain in my ass. This space is pretty. I'll have to remember the location of those windows in case I ever return. Ugh. Never good when you open a door and it makes the sound of something puckering. Or unpuckering. Ugh. Oh god, do they scream in pain? No, no, no. Dooleys. God damn it, I hate these fucking things. Hey gang, I'm back. Alright, so up here you can see that this is that hallway we went in. Um, and I'll just dance around over here. Down there is a place that we hadn't gone to yet. 
So I'm gonna go up here. I've got a little more health, but no save point yet, which is rather irritating. Let's look at the manual for this game, and apparently they're, like, you can save anywhere. But I've decided to not use that. Assuming that it so works. Anyone else? I hate the invisible bugs. They might be my least favorite enemy in any game. So, what, what, God damn it. Like, what could I have done there? The thing about creepers is that they hiss. You know? So even if it's not a good warning, there is a warning. Big level. Lots of flashing lights. Don't like that. Oh. Well, this area looks familiar, at least. Yeah, I've gotten back here, I think. Which means that I can now go this way. This is the way that I had been. As is this. Yeah, I didn't trust you guys one bit. Ooh, that was really efficient. Good use of grenade. Oh, this is health. I just couldn't use it before because I was full. Or because I hadn't hit yellow yet. So this will warp me back to here. Let's remember to keep the flamethrower on us for uh, bugs. There shouldn't be many more bugs on account of me clearing them out. Okay, so this is that thing. Which means that I think I've safely explored all the way up there. Um, I peeked my head down here and shot a few things. Nothing really worth mentioning. Nice, it's a save. So, I wonder what Durant will actually means when he says exploring everything. Oh, God! What? Have I done something wrong? Or was that like, did that count as being inside of a window? Two times two equals four, I would think. But... Come on. I just want to get... Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Oh, Jesus. It leaves behind a burnt skeleton. That's raw. That's so cool. It is so much more detail than I would have expected a, a game of this era would have gotten. You guys are standing in the, the acid, you know. Is that good for you guys? Like, are you... Oh, they're dead. Yeah, they're dead. Wow. Oh, Jesus. Let me in the door. Okay, got a full health bar and a little extra shield. Let's get loud. Come on, yeah, let's get my doom fingers going. Let's strafe on them and shit. Here, give me your gun. I want that.
Big D, can I get some assistance here? Okay. So where are we heading from here? Back out the door, I guess. Oh god, there are more ways to go in this area, aren't there? Shit, dude. God damn, that is powerful. Excuse me, everyone. I'm just gonna head back and steal more of your weaponry. Hit scanners, so uh, the robots with machine guns, uh, which by the way, appear to be like human made machine guns. Very, very dangerous. Burnt skeleton. This is such a good detail, it's so gruesome. Okay, so that's how I got in here. Let's get on out. Actually, let's save, just so we don't have to do that room again. Because that was a room with a lot of enemies. Anyway, I got distracted earlier, but like, is the is the trigger for, like, seeing enough of something? Is it like, ah, uh, I, I didn't even step in it, I was just hovering over it. Okay, cool. But yeah, hit scanners are very dangerous. Also, projectiles seem to be faster than like projectiles from like a from like a Doom would be. I love how it looks like I'm wearing a glove here. Like, my hand is stuffed into an alien. Some of my favorite FPS weapons of all times are the uh, the guns from Half-Life... Wrong shagging way. Uh, some of my favorite guns of all times uh, are the guns from Half-Life Opposing Force. It's the first uh, expansion for Half-Life. Came out in like 98, I want to say. Maybe 99. Around that era, though, for those curious. Okay, nothing. Oh, fuck. Uh, I won't bother cutting. Just a little walk. Um, but so many of the guns are guns used by aliens, and those are awesome. Like, there's a bug that just sticks onto your hand and shoots lightning. It's called a shock roach. And I think that's wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay, so there's that thing. Drandall, will you let me out now? All right, one moment. Hey, and we're back. So my walkthrough told me to go over to here, which is to jump onto this side, which actually leads to this door. Which also leads to some health, which is good, because boy, did I need it. It's a 2x health as well. Excellent. That was good. That was good on the walkthrough to be like, hey, here's how to... Oh, we're, we're using the big guns? Okay. Loud and clear. Oh, so grody every time. Hit scanners, man. Hey, why not? They put it here, right? Somebody's supposed to use it. Hmm. Did I kill a... Give me your gun. Uh, I'm gonna save that. 
hello everyone. Guess I'm not saving it then. That Oxford is really cool. As I've mentioned, it's reminiscent of the guns from uh, Opposing Force, and I love those. A lot of dreamlike music here. This would probably be like, if I ever um, made more like video review shit, this would probably be great background music. Fine. Oh, that's everyone, huh? Nope, you're alive. All right. Yeah, all right, cool. No, no, let me out. Come on, I just went a little too far. Hey, and I'm back. Boy, that was embarrassing. Well, anyway. Is this... Is this a joke? This is a joke. This is, this is fucked up. This is fucked up. You can't do this to me. Well... I'm not even trying here. Like, I... Uh, that has to go in the video now. I just fucking walked off the... Uh, God, uh, uh. All right, I've done this about four times, which is three times more than necessary, because I kept falling into little pits. It was embarrassing as shit and annoying as fuck. None shall escape my wrath, yada yada. You're done. See, that was dumb. Enough. But luckily, I've actually saved here, so I can actually go from a part that's like a reasonable. There don't appear to be any save points along the way. Yep. So, does this work? Nope. Right, I forgot that you can hold Q and E to strafe. What the hell are you doing here, dude? I found a room full of green uh, or a purple four, and I just mowed them down. And maybe they were fit. Uh, might be able to see. Don't mind playing balloons. Don't mind him. Give me your gun. So many sounds, so many noises. Hip, hip. That appears to be all of them for now, though. You want to try to use short control first, at least. Because ammunition is so, like, sparse for this thing. Pictures of boys. The ammunition isn't like super common for this thing, so if you can, you want to try to not go ham on it. However, in my case. Oh god, these walls are so icky. In my case, I've got a lot of spares to pick up. Death robots, huh? Hmm. I'll come back to this. What chicken wings? I get the oddest cravings when I'm LPing, I think. Oh, and this is where this guy stands. Cool. 
Which means that from here I can do a little dash back down. Maybe do a little cheeky save, but at the very least I'm gonna refill my health. Thank you. Probably don't need to save famous last words. Cause like I saved and nothing was a problem. Because of course, why would it be? But if I hadn't have saved, I would have fucked up again. You know? That's that's the that's that's how it be on this bitch of a world. Oh hey. Yeah, and because there's no way to like refresh it and I wanna have a full one, the only way to get a full one is to throw your old one away by just shooting it enough. Okay, so that's all. Cool. And I've got a full gun, I've got nearly full health. Just some scratch damage. So we just gotta wait for this little thing to go down. Bingo. Drandal, get me out of here. D? Huh. How about this window? Oh, is it up there? Yeah, there's more level up there. That makes sense. Uh, yeah. Uh. Ugh. I really feel like I missed, like, a chunk of the last level. Drandal? Where are you at, buddy? This isn't funny. Ah, there's more men in here now. Oh wait, the big window, right. That's where I needed to go. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll have a... Maybe I will. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Splorch. Again, really, really hate the puckering door. So this is the window that I need, right? Ring-a-ding-ding, there we go. You're really good at killing things. I'm impressed. Why don't you kill everything in this area and get some more ammunition? You've got a big job coming up, so be sure to charge your shields before you leave. By the way, I had an accident with some defense drones while you're here. You might bump into a few of them. Don't worry, they're mostly harmless. I don't think I gave them any ammunition for those grenade launchers. To Randall. And a message. Jesus. Oh, hey, we got buddies. Cool. Okay. Now we're getting back in. Now I've got like a real, got a real level to do. Jesus, dude. Oh, hey! You're kidding me. Hey, and we're back. I'm gonna just try to let these guys work it out. See if that, like, see if they'll just die or what? Nope. They definitely got feral. Well, you guys know what the good news is about having no friends? Nothing to stop you from shooting everything everywhere. And with a gun like this, god damn, god bless. Okay. Jesus, stop shooting me. What's it take, man? And after my uh, grumbling session, we're back. the fuck, honestly. 
Got some ammunition at least, that's cool. Suffer not a bot to live. Those guys have so much health. God, Jesus. And, ugh, the other one. Let's just... You know, just in case. A little something we gotta take care of, you know? Thanks. Let's make sure everything's reloaded. What are you? Wow, they really want me to be full. Yeah, let's get a few more grenades in here. Because if they're going to shoot me with grenades, they respond in kind. God. I don't feel confident about my uh, my health points. Okay, a little overkill, but that's all right. Sweep those up. I'm kind of feeling the um, low ammo count sometimes. Like, some of my guns, I feel like I can barely use them. Where some of them, you can just, like, keep using them for forever and you won't run out. God damn it. Okay, here's another full attempt. I won't cut unless I die in this one. Because the walk, it's just a walk here, you know? But I feel like, um... Because in Doom, you'll have, like, 50 rockets, and, like, you'd think that that would be, like, too much. But it actually isn't a crazy amount of rockets, you know? It's kind of weird, actually. So what happens if I just drop down here? Huh? Oh, we go straight to here. Then. Yeah, this is... This is the place. Did you see that? You can shoot the grenades out of the air. That's cool. Love that. Get off my ass. Oh, hey. I am Tycho. I shall destroy Durandal. The following is from the logs of Bernard Strauss, Marathon's first science director. November 15th. That's, uh, that's Halo Day. That's the day that, um, Halo Combat Evolved came out. Uh, interesting. Yeah, that's Halo Day. Thank heaven the ceremony is over. The UESC president came aboard Marathon and gave a speech. Short but to the point. Surrounded by bodyguards. How ironic. This, the greatest technological achievement of all mankind, yada yada, had only known that it carried the... It also carried all the destructive knowledge of mankind. Ten cyborgs. Be glad to put in stasis over the next 300 years. Marathon was the only good idea the UESC has had in a while. Except some history of battle roids. In 2194, a war was fought between the independent asteroid government of Icarus and its neighbor, the Republic of Thermopylae, on the asteroid of Onicus 492. These two, these two small governments were soon the testing grounds for new weapons. Dead soldiers were cycled in makeshift battle roid facility. Easy to manufacture chips, enhance the fragile human brain, and genetically enhance muscles and titanium bones to replace the fragile human form. Modern Battle Royale was born. Of course, the war was short. Battle Royals gone on both asteroids and killed almost everyone. Rampage of the Battle Royale was short-lived. Twenty years later, the in the United Interplanetary League set up rules for the use and storage of Battle Royals. Of course, any nation that used them for the allowed purpose also had them lying around in station chambers in case of war. Excerpts from Martian Conflict. One, information termination. Drandall.olefent.compnet at 24%. Tycho. Or Tycho. Can you blame me for what I did before I was free? I was a child, naive. I've known that you've been hovering for about, for some time. What do you want? I want you to pay for what you've done to these poor people. All these people you killed, they deserve vengeance. You are no better than they, although you profess to become like God. Tycho, that doesn't matter. Can't you see the, f 
And I had in mind, we'll finish this later. Our friend doesn't need to be in here. Terminal error. Okay, cool, weird. Ah, oh, even better. So Gerandal.Oliphant is interesting. Oliphant is a, uh, a word that means elephant. Um, but it can also mean a horn. Uh, usually one carved from the horn of an elephant. And it's a horn that uh, Roland, bearer of Durandal, blows during um, during the Song of Roland. And I believe he blows it so hard he liquefies his own brain? Yeah, I think that happens. Incoming from Durandal, the Sphit and myself come to an understanding. They are controlled through the mechanical exoskeleton by a cyborg 4 aboard the alien ship. Mean 4 is able to direct thousands of, the actions of thousands of Sphit simultaneously. If you can kill the Master, they'll revolt. The Sphit are an integral part of the four ship. Without them, the invasion is surely doomed, and you will no doubt be the hero of the day. Forever Durandal. Nope, I'm going to explore more. Sorry, Big D. But I wanted health. That's it? Okay, well, where's everything else sitting at? Reload you. Wow. Yeah, let's keep looking, just in case. Beware of low-flying drones, they say. Uh-huh, go to hell. Go to hell, you big bucket of bolts. There we go. There we go. There we go. Topped off now. Well, a little more topped off at any rate. Okay, so that's where that leads. This leads to... Okay, cool. Wait, so this is what I wanted. Boop. Okay. So they really decked me out as though I was going to be, like, fighting a boss or something, but turns out that that's not quite yet. Okay. Back on board. Okay. So the, the little... I don't want to know what you were doing there, dude. Yeah, that's to be expected. All right, let's use a more let's use a more measured approach. God, go the wrong shacking way. Oh boy, you guys, huh? Good trade. enjoyed that sneak peek at that next level. Uh, just mulch me up and throw me away. Okay, you guys handle yourselves for a little bit. Jesus, man. Okay, that guy just has a lot of health is all. Luckily, I've got an underslung barrel problem solver. Oh, gosh. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, sneak peek of the next level because I'm going to be doing this for a little bit. Every time, wrong one.
Jeez, this thing's effective. Cool. Oh, that's the elevator. Okay, cool. Alright, now everything on me is full. Yep. And the right one this time, thank you very much. And then I'm gonna go heal myself. I really can't believe that that's all it gives me. Like, at this stage in the game, you would imagine that it would be calibrated more for, like, just for more difficulty in general, you know? Okay, so going this way gives me the green room, which then gets me to here. All right. Let's party. Oh, that's acid. Ew. And also, why? He's just sitting on a bed of acid? Is it turning him into a femboy? What's, what's happening here? That was a thing. Okay. Ah, oh, great, the elevator. Yes, just what I wanted. Oops. Have the common decency to die, dog. Okay. Jesus, there's a Hey everyone, we're back. Just want a heads up, heads up for you. Of course, now is a good time to say it, but uh, I was gonna say next death ends the episode. Well, fucking god damn it. So uh, I went backtracking through this level some more. Turns out there's a whole bunch of enemies. Jesus Christ, Nazareth. Um, so you know that's cool. Where's the green room? Need that green room. Need that green room. Fucking goddamn it. All right, anyway, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff and apparently there's a triple shield generator. I only would look. What the, swastika? Now, I'm aware that, you know, first person shooters often actually have swastikas in them. Not because they're secretly Nazi-esque. Well, actually, that's... So, in Wolfenstein, right? Well, that was stupid. In Wolfenstein, there's a bunch of hidden swastikas everywhere, like in the map design and stuff. But the reason is because that game is set in Nazi Germany. And, uh, maps are two-dimensional. So, like, just hiding swastikas in, in a lot of the maps was the only way that they could think of to make the maps interesting. And it makes sense, like... Nazi iconography is not like a. That's a big deal, you know? Jesus Christ. Alright. So, yeah, I think I may have uh, played my hand a little too early there to try to fucking scuck and get the. get the thing too early. So let's save. Oh yeah, I also learned that there's no goddamned save point on that whole level. Like coming up, unforgivable, apparently that mission doesn't have a save point. Or maybe it's the one after that, I don't know. I skimmed the walkthrough. Oh, brother. 
I'm really bad at getting lost in these levels, man. Is it through here? What am I looking at? Oh. Damn it. Damn it. I really hate the grenade robots. If I ever find Durandal, I'm gonna kick his ass. I mean, apparently you never really get to fight Durandal, though, so... Yep, come on. I love that I'm having a firefight with these dudes, like, multiple rooms away. Let's see if we can find the other side of that room, eh? It seems like it'll be a good use of my time. Fuckers. Don't know how to... Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you never fight to Randall. He's too cool. <sighs> yes. All right. Now that I am full to bursting with goodies, I can fight. Stop it, man. Please. Of course, I use the only ammunition that I don't have spares of. Let's use a little more of this, huh? I've got a lot of that going around. Anyone else? Anybody? Right. Let's find the way back to the save point and then um, call it an episode, I guess. Top off, just in case. Yep. I was missing a tiny, tiny little chunk of health, apparently. Yeah. The main issue is that the hunters in the intro of the level, such a problem, you know? And then after they show up, um, I'm either stuck with a really weird or bad weapon. And I can't get further. Or I like, uh... I don't think I'm going the right way here. I don't know, am I? Nope, I'm not. Damn it. Come on, just let me out of here. Oh boy. Yeah, like I, I've, I've mentioned the um, the levels where they have. Okay, so facing this, you go left and then you go down. And there we go. There it is. I've mentioned the levels that have like a really strong overture. And boy, is that one. But yeah, so next episode, you're going to come right back to this screen and I'm going to fight some goddamned aliens in this game, which is Marathon. And I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, bye bye.